Hey, this is Brian. And in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install the all new Daler ATTC, which is a throttle commander and an anti theft device on a G Series BMW. For today's demonstration, we are going to be showing you on Zach's G2330 if you have an M340i or if you have a G22 or most other G Series, the process is about 95% the same. So, with that, let's get started. Let's talk about the tools that you need and then I'll show you what's in the kit. So, you are going to need a T30, that is a Torx 30. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver driver in some kind of pick tool. So as you can see, basic hand tools, we like the wearer drivers because well, they're awesome. Speaking of awesome, let's show you the parts that are included in the Daler box here. So as you can see, we've already opened this. We have the main control unit, which looks like this. We have the plug and play wire harness. So as you can see, it's not very difficult to install. And then in this little bag here, you have the controller, which looks like that. Then we have some zip ties and miscellaneous stickies so you have everything that you need. Before we get started, I just wanna give you a rough overview of what is going to happen. So as you can see, the main control unit is going to clip in like this, and then you really just have these two plugs. Basically what we're going to do, there's a T30 under this little black plug. We're gonna pull that out. The entire pedal is then going to come out, and there is a plug that goes from the car to the pedal. For one of these plugs, you're going to replace it, and you're going to plug this into the actual pedal. And then this connection over here is going to plug into the factory connection of the car. We're gonna route this up and out of the way and that is how easy the install is. So with that, grab your pick tool and let's get started. Start by taking your pick tool and carefully prying out this little plastic cover over here. That's just to make sure you don't get any crud on that T30. Then take your T30 and you're gonna release this bolt. Okay, looks just like that. And your pedal is gonna just slide up like so. And then when you twist it, you'll be able to see your connection. So to disconnect the connection, there's this little button underneath and then there's one on top. So just press like that. And then you can wiggle it off just like that. Now they have revised this pedal and some of them will have this connection on top. I think it's actually like over here. Um, so when you're doing this, if you don't have the connection here, you may have it up here, but it's the exact same plug. Once you've done that, you can put this in a safe place. All right, for this next part, we are going to drop down this lower plastic portion. If you take over a look over here on the left side, you will see that there is this little clip. You just take a flathead screwdriver, turn it 90 degrees, and it's gonna drop down real nice. Then do the exact same thing on the other side. And you can do it with your hands, but sometimes they're a little bit tight. And drop this down, and you'll find two connections. One is for a light, one is for a speaker. Just carefully undo those, it might be clipped in. And then take this and remove it. So now what you're gonna do is take these wires, you're gonna pull the carpet back, and we're gonna fish them down and out this little hole down here. Good thing about the G-Series carpet is it's typically a lot softer and easier to work with. So you're just gonna do it like that. I like to push the wire over to the right of the piece of metal. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the factory connection. These only plug in one way. I'm gonna clip that in place. And then I'm just gonna feed this under the carpet so that you don't ever see it. And then I'll push this back just so it looks like it did from the factory. Okay, so now, just gonna make sure that's seated. There we go. So now you could take your pedal take your new Daler connection. Again, these only go in one way. Hook that in like so. And then when you go to reinstall it, there's this little piece of plastic right there. That's what you hook over the little piece of metal. So what you have to do, just make sure that you slide it down. and it'll kind of clip into place like that. You can drop your little T30 in there. And tighten that up and then put the little piece of plastic in to protect it from dirt and grime. And take your little box face up and it's going to slide right in here 
just like that. And as you can see, you don't need any zip ties or anything because it is super snug in place. And the way that it's facing is gonna make sure that the signal goes up and can find the transponder. Then you can take your speaker line, reconnect that. Try to do this so you can see what I'm doing here. You can connect your light. And this one has a little clip. Connect that again. And then you want to slide it back into the groove, like so. And then you want to take these, there we go, find where they are, and then that'll twist into place. And same with that one. And then the hard part of the installation is complete. So then when it comes to mounting the controller, what you do is take one of these convenient pieces of double-sided adhesive, line it up, and then place it where you'd like it. So some people like to hide it in various locations. Zach wants to have it right there. So if he gets out of the car, all he needs to do is just take the controller with him. So let me peel the tape, okay. And then stick it, and then there you go. So you have your controller and it slides nice into that little compartment. The last part of the process is we need to tell the car how much pedal travel there is. So you activate the Daler unit. And then once you do that, it's going to auto assign a signal, take your foot, put it to the floor with the car in accessory mode for two to three seconds or so, and then let go. And that's going to tell the car how much throttle play it has and how to accurately control your throttle. So that wraps up our installation on Zach's G2330. Now, if you have a G80 or another G series, the process is about 95% the same. So it, as you saw, it's very easy and it's very similar to the F series, which if you haven't seen that video, be sure to link it in the description. Also in the description, you're going to find a fully in-depth video on all of the features and functions of the ATTC and links to purchase if it's something you're interested in. Once again, my name is Brian, that's Zach behind the camera. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.